happened to me a couple years ago. It happened on a Saturday okay. night. I was typing out a school report for my English class and was pretty worn out from the tedious amount of thinking that transpired throughout the paper. I decided to take a break and procrastinate a little bit, maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos. I needed to take some stress off my mind, but didn't really have anyone to vent or talk to. This gave me the idea to visit a chat room called Omegle. For those of you who don't know what Omegle is, it's a chat room where you can literally video chat with random strangers online through your computer webcam. Needless to say, Omegle definitely helped with my social skills growing up as a child, so I was always active on it. I remember this one particular night. I was having trouble meeting new people. This left me a little frustrated to say the least, but that's the kind of thing to expect when you're on these kind of chat sites. That's when I stumbled upon this one guy. He looked to be around the same age group as myself and seemed like a pretty harmless individual. I decided to say hi. He didn't say anything back, he just typed the word hi in the chat box. I found it kind of weird that he would go through the effort of typing out hi as opposed to just saying hi verbally. He then waved at me and began typing something else. He introduced himself in the chat box saying, My name is Daniel, what's your name? I verbally said, my name is James, how are you? Okay, I'm scared. He then stares at the camera and doesn't say a word to me, completely dismissing the fact that I just asked him a question. At this point, I was convinced that this had to be some sort of pre-recorded video and that someone was just trolling me. That's when he began typing in the chat box again, saying, I'm deaf, please type in the chat box unless you know sign language. I honestly felt stupid and immediately typed, no worries, my name is James, and gave a quick thumbs up as an act of kind gesture. He immediately typed back saying, nice to meet you, James, and gave me a thumbs up as well. He then typed something else that left me dumbfounded. He said, I will use my whiteboard to chat with you going forward because my hands will be occupied. I was confused by what he meant by that, so I typed, what do you mean by your hands being occupied? He then starts writing on a whiteboard and raises it up on the screen, which read, Want to play a game? I typed, Sure, what game, game do you want to play? What he did next no. is something no, I will never forget him. to this day. He held a revolver up with one hand no, and the whiteboard up with the other hand, saying, Let's play Russian roulette. I was honestly quite creeped out by this guy and was contemplating on clicking the stop option to skip this weirdo. That's when he wrote another message on the whiteboard saying, one of six. I was confused by what one of six meant. He then took the revolver, slipped one bullet inside the cylinder, and began spinning it with his other hand. I now knew what he meant by four. one of six. Four. It seemed like the guy was about to demonstrate an act of Russian roulette with one bullet in the cylinder of six. He then puts the revolver against his head. I began typing. What are you doing? Please stop this. The guy then smiles disturbingly on the camera and pulls the trigger. Nothing happened. He starts laughing hysterically like a psycho. I was honestly disturbed, but also skeptical that the gun was real, so I typed, Is that even real? He then points the revolver at the wall and begins to repeatedly press the trigger until the shot was fired. I was completely blown away by what I was seeing and typed, Dude, you could have died! That's when the guy raised the whiteboard to the screen again, showing the message, five of six. I frantically started typing, don't do it, repeatedly in the chat box, desperately trying to get his attention. He then began loading the revolver with five bullets while I gesture no by waving my hands back and forth like a lunatic. I knew the odds of him surviving this time were slim to none. He then raises the revolver against his head once again and begins to disturbingly smile with tears running down his face. He began mumbling the words, it was nice meeting you, James. I immediately slammed my laptop shut as I hear a gunshot a split second before the laptop was fully closed. I was left baffled on my computer desk. I hadn't a clue what to do. I stupidly opened my laptop up with my eyes closed. I pressed my hand against the screen where the video chat was located. I opened my eyes, and through the cracks of my fingers, there I can see so blood displayed blood. everywhere on his screen. I, I immediately click the exit button on the Google Chrome tab and call it a night. To this day, I'm still skeptical about what I saw that night. I haven't reported anything to the police, nor have I reported anything to Omegle. I'm not sure if that was the wisest decision, but I hope I never encounter anyone like that again. Uh, oh, no! 
No! Oh! Dad, you're so...